In the most literal sense, I am heating up pizza rolls right now. To pick Taylor up at the airport at in 45 minutes. Oh my fucking god. Oh! Guys, hey, I'm Tan. I'm in my empty apartment that still has no furniture. The cat is sitting on a dresser that literally needed to get out of my apartment yesterday. And Taylor is about to land in fucking LA. Finally, it's not my ass flying across the country to see her. She's on her way to LA. This is about to be fucking ridiculous. Like, Taylor in LA just does not even make sense in my head. I feel like right now is the part where I need to, like, put a montage of what we ended up doing during her time here. We're gonna get her home. Present day me does not know that that's about to happen, so I can't even predict the shit we're about to get ourselves into this weekend. Taylor is simply afraid of everything and anything in LA. That is why it's 20 times funnier that she is about to come visit me. That's where we're at right now, but she is starving and she said she has gotten no food on the plane at all, so I am making her pizza rolls and I'm going to deliver them to her as I pick her up at the airport. Also, this is deadass my first night ever sleeping in my room. This is my setup right now. It's a goddamn mess. It's gonna be like this for a minute, but I have been sleeping outside in the living room with Sydney for a week and a half now with our mattresses in the middle of the living room as if we live in a studio apartment and Taylor was like Caitlin put your fucking mattress in your room and let's sleep in your room and I was like okay tonight sounds like a great night to break in my room for the first time instead of sleeping in the kitchen so I'm going to heat these pizza bagels up and then we're just going to get in the car like let's get the show on the road let's go have some fun I need it I fucking need it I'm at the airport right now and Taylor's plane is stuck on the runway for at least 30 more minutes what the literal fuck no like I dead ass don't know what to do I have all of these pizza rolls in a bowl right now and they are definitely about as ice cold as I have the temperature in this car. So I think I'm about to eat all of them. So Taylor, if you never get any of your pizza rolls, <laughs> I'm fucking sorry. It's simply just like midnight now. I literally don't know what to do with myself. Like, should I just run around like butt naked? Like, what the fuck else is there to do right now? I mean, I am kind of entertained because I'm sitting here listening to Lil Nas's new album and like I'm having a fantabulous time. But I also would just like like to see Taylor and not be tormented by the pizza rolls in the bowl right there. I am just so goddamn hungry. <laughs> Wait, maybe Taylor's lying. Maybe she never came to LA. Maybe she's like pulling a prank on me. Now she's like, oh, my plane is stuck on the runway. But like, what if she's actually not here? Oh my God, of course I'm right at the pole that says 1D. Ugh, I'm triggered. All right, well, I'm gonna sit here and wait for Taylor. I guess once I pick her up, if I ever do, if she ever even came, we're gonna go to Crave and I'm gonna get waffles, I think. I'm going to sit here and go fuck myself. Hello? Oh my God, yeah. Yeah. Here are your pizza rolls. The only thing here. you wanted. I can't believe I'm in Los Angeles. I can't believe you're having two and a half hour old cold pizza rolls. <laughs> I can't believe you left two and a half hours ago. I've been sitting on a plane for like seven hours because we landed an hour early. <laughs> Oh my god. I have a crepe in there. Did you get an omelet? No, I got crepe. Oh my god, look at us having crepes at two in the fucking morning. <laughs> 5 a.m. my time. Jesus Christ. <laughs> literally just sat, sat right, right there. there, but we're just gonna sit in my car directly <laughs> outside of it. Yes. Oh wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna cry my eyes out right now. <laughs> Why are you about to go into my apartment? Oh my god, I don't know, but I'm so excited about it. I'm in the city right now. Hello? <laughs> Nobody's here. Hello? <laughs> Wait, why is the air mattress pop? Why is she sitting <laughs> down onto the ground? Sydney, <laughs> wait. Oh my god, I'm crying. Like oh. she literally might not wake up. <laughs> it's so nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> this is not real. <laughs> Bro, we like. <laughs> wait, where's this cat? Oh right god. there. Whoa. Wait, this is so weird that you're in my room. Oh my god, my bed for the weekend. Your closet. <laughs> you I know. You have so many things to wear this I week. I can't wait to go through this. <laughs> did you tell the vlog that I packed in 13 minutes? No, I did not. Well, guys, I packed in 13 minutes. <laughs> so Taylor has nothing. Literally. You really only have a duffel bag no, in that? There's not even anything in this. It's Jesus just my laptop. Christ. I can't believe Sydney will not wake up right now. Sydney, wake up. No, right. she's literally not gonna wake up. I thought it was a prank when I walked in and I like, heard her. No, this I is like... Is she really trying to surprise? I can see her. <laughs> no, like this is like a real thing right now. Like, hey, my cat has that. Great, thanks for sharing. <laughs> we are going to, can I see the restaurant name? Probably not. We're going to <laughs> just out. It's going to be so much fun. We're going to see my friend Nicole. And I don't know where we are, so we're going to end the video here. We're going to a random bar near our house to start off the night, and then we are going to go back into the apartment, get ready, and then go to a club, a bar. I don't really know. The night is young. It's been a long ass day, and I just want to get drunk and party and have fun, so here we go. I fully walked in last night thinking that Sydney was like surprising me, and she was just asleep. I woke up like in a canoe. <laughs>
<laughs> of the deflated mattress. I was like, where am I? Looking around like, mm, in my living room. Everything about going out with Sydney and Taylor right now is so weird because they just met for the first time today. And I feel like I'm with my East Coast and my West Coast babysitter. And I feel like I'm just watched. Oh, I feel like I can't do anything literally. bad tonight. Like, my moms problem. are here. <laughs> You're right. You are the problem. I think we're all a threat. Uh, no, we're a triple threat. That's we're a triple threat, LA. Watch the fuck out. I'm putting my camera away after that one. <laughs> so this is the thing right now. I mean, like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> we haven't all been to... Uh, never mind. Yeah, we have. What? what? <laughs> I mean, we have all been together since Playlist Orlando, but we have. We have, actually. Oh, we have. Okay. We well, Uno's. Oh, Longhorn, we bitch. To, we went to Uno's. <laughs> here we are now. We're all about to go out and go to a club. Do you want to see who else is here? Here we go. For some reason, I have, like, all of Boston in my apartment right now. Say hi! <laughs> That's oh, not me. Oh, oh. Not from Boston. Okay, okay, you're the only fucking bitch here that's from Minnesota. <laughs> you just looked her up and down. Jinx <laughs> <laughs> would kick her ass. We're gonna go out and fucking get drunk, so let's go. <laughs> okay, welcome to the story time of how Taylor got her goddamn phone stolen and how she ended up having to use an iPad the entire rest of her trip in LA. So two of my favorite bars to go out to in LA was Dirty Laundry and No Vacancy. I would always take my friends there and I would never have a problem there until this night. These two bars are directly next to each other. So we started off by going to No Vacancy and we were only there for like 30 minutes until we got bored and then decided to go to Dirty Laundry. We got in pretty fast and I was the one like leading the pack of all of us through the bar. We were smushed amongst a ton of other people in the bar and I was trying to get from point A to point B across to the other side of the bar. Taylor was behind me and Jake was behind her and all of a sudden I felt Taylor grab me and go, my phone is gone, my phone is gone. And I was like, what? And Jake heard her say that since he was behind Taylor and he immediately turned around and got a glimpse of the people that he thought stole her phone. But before he could say anything to them, they were gone and we were all just kind of sitting there like stunned. Like everything just happened so fast and we lost them. So the second that that happened, Taylor was obviously hyperventilating. So we immediately left. We went outside and we told security, uh, her phone just got stolen. Jake somehow, of course, is the only person that saw what these people looked like. And he's giving a description of them to the security outside. And before you know it, all hell just breaks loose. So security ends up bringing Jake inside to start looking for the main guy that stole her phone. And while he's doing that, I'm standing outside at one of two exits and entrances that there are to this bar. And slowly more and more people started to come out of the bar and tell security that their phones got stolen to or their wallets. And before you know it, they were shutting down one of the entrances to the bar so that whoever was stealing all these phones was only gonna have one exit to be able to come out of at one point. But as they were in the middle of closing them down, this guy that perfectly matched the description of what Jake was saying walked out of the exit that I was at and security just like started tackling him and feeling him up and everything. So immediately I started filming and this is the footage from that. This guy's obviously saying, you have the wrong guy, blah, blah, blah. And the security that he was with starts walking him over to the other exit, which is the exit that Jake and the other security were about to come up from from inside. And just as Jake comes out, the guy starts sprinting away and security starts chasing him, which immediately confirmed that this guy was the guy that stole Taylor's phone. Wait, where is he? He's he down that street. <laughs> I don't know how I found him. He literally sprinted down the street. Does this guy got it? Yeah. He everything <laughs> As he was running, he started throwing phones and wallets onto the ground and security got some of them and was able to bring some of it back. But of course, none of the phones were Taylor's. At this point, I had only thought that there was one guy involved in this. So I thought that once that guy got away, we were fucked and he must have had Taylor's phone still on him and we were never gonna get it back. But then all of a sudden I found out that there are two people involved in this that Jake had seen. It just turns into a shit show. So let's just watch this unfold. She got all the phones, where's she at? There's a girl? They stole There's that many wallets? Girl? No way. No, I literally go, them. He goes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the guy goes running down the street. No, I can't wait to see this dumb bitch. I'm get going that to go out. This is so fucking ridiculous. Oh, We're gonna get your phone. Don't cry. Her location is on. Oh yeah, I have Taylor's location on, on Find My Friends. And Taylor's phone was still saying that it was in the bar and it was updating every minute. So we had every reason to believe that the woman that was with this guy was still down there, just lost in the sea of people, swiping more phones left and right. We're all tracking our phones, they're so dumb. Yes! The phones are in there! What the fuck are we doing out here? We're gonna get Taylor's phone! We're from Boston to get Taylor's phone! You're not stealing my Taylor's phone! This baby tight! You see this? Stop looking at my phone! People in there. Is I don't know if she like went to the bathroom. There's or... there's one one exit. Basically every five to ten minutes security would bring Jake back downstairs to try and find this woman And I just will never get over the fact that Jake is the only person that knew what this lady looked like like a, a fucking course While Jake was looking like that. It's just so iconic in the worst way possible. This is why we stay home so <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm never going back to LA. Let's change our flight for right now. Taylor smile Second night in LA in three years, and this happens. But the phone was on the street. No way. He's never coming back. <laughs> I love 
I can't believe I found those poor people's wallets. That was a like, comment though. fucking gold star, bitch. I'm like, if I don't get fucking access to this club <laughs> and every fucking like, bitch, I'm about to beat her ass. <laughs> I just saved this fucking like, club, bitch. We need to get like a statue of Jake outside. <laughs> <laughs> Someone just bought roses for everyone that just got their phone stolen. Giving roses to the fallen soldiers. What did they say? They're on their way. I told you if one more person called them, they'd come. Yep, nope, well, they're fully totally on their way. Like, fuck these kids, let's go find the phone. <laughs> it's the way you're just holding a rose. Wait, take it, use it as a phone. <laughs> I can't. Is that yours? There's no way all these people's phones got it. <laughs> Jake's alone knows how they look. Ta-da! This place closes in one hour, so she has 59 minutes to get out of here. I need a hot dog. Yana's just talking to the fucking police, and now they're going up to the front of the bar. The bar's about to close, and I really truly feel like we're about to get Taylor's phone. I'm punch her out. I know, especially since the police are here now. Like, we're gonna get Taylor's phone. I love being LAPD. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? So after two hours of dealing with this shit, the bar was finally closing and people started filing out and I started recording in case this bitch was about to make a break for it. But as we were waiting there and watching more and more people file out, we never saw the woman. So eventually they brought Jake back downstairs when it was pretty much empty and he said this. What's going on? I just dug through everything in there. There's no, no one's one down in there? there? No one else. No way. Everyone's gone. No, everyone's gone. So I don't know guys, we ended up realizing that I had been tracking Taylor's Apple Watch all night that was on her arm. So obviously it was gonna say that she was still at the bar because she had her Apple Watch on and she was directly next to me. But as for everyone else, everyone's phones were saying that they were still there and that woman never ended up coming outside. Maybe she got away before the guy came out. Just nothing really makes sense. And we started to wonder if some of the bouncers, not specifically the security, were in on this because there was a few sketchy other people that worked there that I had my doubts about. So I don't know. And remember earlier when we said that there needs to be a statue of Jake outside this bar or that he deserves a gold sticker or something because he was just like the hero of the night. He got some people's phones and wallets back. Without Jake, that guy would have gotten away with all those other people's phones and wallets. But Jake ended up somehow getting a lifetime access pin to this bar that he just wears on his jacket now. And whenever he wants to go back there, he can just go in and get free drinks. Not that we would ever really want to go back to this place, but Jake was literally rewarded with that, which is the most ridiculous thing in the entire world. We love Jake being the West Hollywood hero that we didn't know we needed. That's pretty much what happened there. I just wanted to give a quick little background because a lot of people on Instagram have been confused about what the hell actually happened with this. So that's that. Oh, and then two weeks after this, Taylor got a text on her phone saying that her lost phone had been activated. And when she checked to find my friends really fast before it got turned off, it was in Europe. I don't know how these things happen to us, but it did. All right, guys. Oh no. <laughs> wow, this is a real situation, huh? It's not the fact my phone got stolen for those of you that are about to call me materialistic. <laughs> It's the fact it costs money to get a new one. It's just the fact that you have mascara <laughs> smeared down your face in a Scooby Doo t-shirt. Wait, no, I know. Wait, it's perfectly like two lines, too. No, like you're kind of like fitting an aesthetic right now. And I have a pimple on my chin. Okay, I have to go. I have to go cry. I'll update you when I'm at the Verizon store. I'm doing my best to let my mom not find out, probably until she watches Caitlyn's story. Yep, that's true. Okay, Especially bye. So it is the next morning. <laughs> We're going to the Verizon store. No, you said you wouldn't vlog until we get to the Verizon store. Okay, goodbye. So that day, instead of going straight to the Verizon store, we ended up hanging out with Addison, which was a dream come true to me because obviously I want my best friends to meet each other. And we just got very distracted with that. And that is the day that I just fully took the Taylor iPad meme on Instagram to a whole different level, which I will let us relive through a montage momentarily. But we just had so much fun that day, fucking around and making a joke out of the iPad that we didn't even bother to go to the Verizon store because the iPad jokes were just so good. Instead, we did this. Taylor is running out the door with a rose to go get a new phone right now. <laughs>
I really don't want the iPad era to end. Like, I've been having the best time ever. Don't worry, she's not going anywhere. Th thank God. Oh, I got some text messages. <laughs> okay, after our 45 minute journey, we've made it to fucking Verizon. Taylor, wanna tell everyone why we just had to go 45 minutes to a specific Verizon? I forgot the pin to my- Wait, I you forgot? forgot you pin. forgot the pin. <laughs> I thought it was like she needed like something special in this store. It was the only one who could do it. <laughs> you forgot the pin? <laughs> Holy fuck. So that's why we had to drive 45 minutes to a specific corporate Verizon <laughs> store. <laughs> I forgot it. <laughs> I mean, holy fuck, I've never been so happy to see Verizon in my life. Oh, Wait, goodness. I'm like kind of sad. I really am going to miss the iPad era. It doesn't have to end. <laughs> Thank I fucking spent God. I a lot of money on this. It will live on with my iPhone. The Watch them not have an iPhone 12 Pro. Anymore. Taylor, you'll take the iPhone 7 and you'll fucking like it. She's trying to jump out of the car already. Taylor, we're pulling up. You can wait two seconds. Here we are. We are At that point, I've seen an iPad touch. Wait, what's the iPod? Am I supposed to say iPod? Taylor's <laughs> gonna walk out with an iPod Nano for no reason. I love that we're all wearing dresses to go to the Verizon store. <laughs> all right, guys, here we go to Verizon. Let's see how this yeah, goes. I'm very yeah. scared. Excited to be here. <laughs> this is your moment. My time to shine. This is the oh, last sorry, moment. Okay, here we go. This is the one. I miss you so much. Wow, look at this lovely mess over here. Yes, wow, my background is We're really just, gonna... just fucking stellar, isn't it? Yeah, we can just move to adjust so that you can't see it. I'll just try and like block everything <laughs> out. Like, please just don't look over here. I still have an iPad. <laughs> Not that the iPad was going away if you got a phone today, but she yeah. still doesn't have a phone. In the most literal sense, I have no phone. <laughs> and I won't until, well, if our friend from Boston answers, I might not have a phone until Thursday. But to backtrack before everybody's like, Taylor makes no sense when she talks, because I have seen those comments. <laughs> we walked in the Verizon store and they're like, you haven't paid off your other phone completely. We had almost a thousand dollars left to pay because I just got the new phone. They're like, or you could literally just do it for free and overnight it. And I'm like, well, I'm not going to be in LA tomorrow. And they're like, okay, we can overnight it to Boston. In, but I'm like, I'm not gonna be consistently in the same spot for the amount of time that it would take to get the phone. So I was just like, okay, I'm fucked. Long story short, I'm gonna ship it to our friend David's if he ever fucking answers. Wait, he just answered. Yes, of course you can. Wow, oh, that timing was amazing. Our day was just saved. Yes! Woo! So bottom line, now it's going straight to our friend David. I'm so excited because that means I get to see David and that means that I get a phone. Long story short, don't have a phone, still have an iPad, cried in the shower, gonna go buy a disposable <laughs> camera. <laughs> and we're gonna make this the best last 27 hours that anybody's ever had in LA. Okay, I can't wait. I'm loving the energy. Give it up for Taylor for having this much energy for losing her phone in LA and just going out and about with a fucking iPad. Wow, guys, catch me up. Yes, let's just leak his address. How's your last full night in LA going? I have an iPad. Taylor, they fucking know this entire vlog has been about that. Iconic. And then I just pulled out in the middle this of the This man is so cute! Ah! Ah! I found my husband! I just want everyone to know that me and Jake are thriving. Like, yes, we went to high school together. Yes, we're like hot. And, and now we're thriving. And now we're thriving. We are like walking out of a fucking bar and Caitlin goes like, I can't believe we're walking out of a bar together right now. And I was like, I yeah. know. Yeah, it's like one of those moments where I'm just like, fuck, I'm so old now. I'm about to turn 22. I turn 22 next week. Ugh. I'm gonna push you in the bush. I'm gonna push you in the bush. <laughs> we just vlogged and my phone lost almost all of it. Are you fucking kidding me? No, I dead ass. Scream again. I was just screaming about how I'm about to turn 22 and everything. And now you guys are never gonna know what I said the first time. I admitted some personal things. Um, and now like, you're just can we just talk about how my um, boyfriend, just kidding, I don't have a boyfriend, boyfriend. but the, um, this new man that I'm talking to said that he was manifesting for me in the shower. <gasps> oh! Whoa, I don't know if manifesting the shower is the right word. I feel like there's something else going on in the shower other than manifesting. Like, are we kidding? <laughs> ah, I love men. I love men too. <laughs> Ah! Yes! Oh, I didn't know we were going for like this vibe. I have to do a brand deal. You, you look adorable. I'm wearing, I'm like, you, so no, all casual. you look cute. Hey. You, I love you it. Have you have You can't go wrong. Oh, okay, there we you're go. Right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> There's my baby. Oh my god. Hi, Mackie Mac. Kill me now. Hi. It's the way that we're all going to a cat cafe right now, and Sky's dragging us to it first off. Hell yeah, I am. <laughs> Second off, Sydney's convinced that she's gonna walk out of there adopting no, another cat. No, the cat, no. I'm not. The cat's gonna find you. 
will find yeah. me. Yeah. We're attracting the right cat. I don't know why we need a fucking I'm another one. I'm crystals. I mean, I'm down with some crystals. <laughs> Maybe they'll bring us like the best cat in the world. <laughs> In our glorious home, there's yeah. so much furniture. Like, we really don't need a second cat before a couch. Look at oh, all. you're lying. Oh my, oh my god, I'm in trouble. This one's oh speaking to me. <laughs> really? Because I don't think it's saying a single thing. No, I can like feel him through my head. Oh, I'm using please. Sydney's phone. <laughs> Like a lion. Oh my god. Oh god. Is he good with other cats? <laughs> I don't know. This guy, what are you doing? Applying for today. Oh my god. All right, I gotta grab my phone. I'm applying. Oh. Are we applying together? Oh my god. It looks like you're applying for the cat. Does anybody want to use my iPad? <laughs> okay. Now we're going to Aritzia okay, because we're gonna get the camera stolen. If you're right, I am gonna get the camera stolen too. I have to hold an iPad the entire way home. I might as well look like I have my life together. So I'm gonna get a matching sweatpants, sweatshirt, and Aritzia. And now there's a lot of people, so we have to go. I'm getting anxious. Oh my god, a pretzel right. pop up. We have to make my Instagram have a comeback. Welcome to the Grove, this Taylor. Is so cool. The fountains do shows here. No, who has and a quarter. It's like Vegas. If a you quarter? throw it in, it's good luck. We need that. Need no, that. I need that. <laughs> What is she doing now? She was telling me how she went to Nordstrom the other day, hung over, and she walked in and she asked them to check the balance of her Macy's gift card. I can't go anywhere with any of you. Okay, now we're going to the airport. I say with the biggest smile on my face. Yeah, what the fuck? That means that we're one day closer to the Jonas Brothers. That's true. I am telling myself that the only way that I won't be sad right now that Taylor's leaving is because the sooner she gets the fuck out of my car and out of LA, the sooner it'll be next week when it's my birthday and I get to be in Boston again and we get to go to the fucking Jonas Brothers. So. And the sooner I'll have a cell phone, a yeah. cellular device in my hand. One that is not an iPad. So I can't be like too sad, but I also just like hate that you're fucking leaving. I literally can't even comprehend the fact that we don't live on the same side of the country. What am I gonna do without my the iPad? iPad? What am I gonna do? You're gonna have to go buy one. I am going to miss you so much that I'm gonna have to go buy a fucking iPad to make up no, for it. No, truly. LA, it's been quite the time to say the least. Wait, can you end this vlog with you telling the Shaquille O'Neal story? No. Why not? This is Guys, one time Taylor went to San Diego. San Francisco. San Francisco. She doesn't know where the fuck she went. And she was at a hotel with her mom and she went to the bar to get drinks. It wasn't even to get drinks. It was to get a Shirley Temple in like sweatpants and a sweatshirt at like 11 in the morning. And this guy was like sitting there and he was like really dressed for the occasion, huh? And I was like, yeah, like I'm on a business trip with my mom and don't have anything to do. It's so, like just getting Shirley Temples. He said something about sports and I was like, oh, I'm like talking to somebody right now that plays hockey. Like trying to flex on this going guy. Well. Oh. I was like, it's not going well though. And he like asked me like what was wrong with it. And like, he's like, no, like you're gonna be fine. Like wish you all the best. He walks away and like my mom and her coworker come up to me and they're like, why were you talking to him? And I was like, I don't know. He was like super friendly. He was fully with bodyguards. I should have caught on. Bottom line, it was Shaquille O'Neal. Yep, her mom had to inform her that she did just tell her boy problems to Shaquille O'Neal. So it that's a Taylor California story other than this fucking vlog. And you. then I come back and my phone gets stolen. <laughs> I can't wait to see what happens next time. I love you all. It's been real. I love you guys too. Thanks for um, having a blast with me online about the iPad. It's been, yeah, it's been a treat. You guys kept me strong. Everyone's reactions online to the iPad. Like you guys are the funniest motherfuckers ever. And like you saved my ass because I had to deal with her. But you also just like saved her trip in general. So thanks for having a sense of humor. I do in fact have sound on it. Of course. And I have about four apps. One Answer. of them being Snapchat. <laughs> One of them being Snapchat. <laughs> Snapchat, Excel, Microsoft Word, and a drawing app. And Instagram. And Instagram. How could I forget? Which she's now a celebrity on. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Taylor about did 7,000 followers all and she of came here sudden, with 3,000. I came here with 3,000 followers. All of a sudden I'm at 7,000 because of an iPad. <laughs> How to blow up overnight? Buy a fucking iPad. Just How to figure blow it out. Up. Figure overnight it out. Overnight celebrity over here. Okay, we love you. Goodbye. Well, you tweaking if you